So I, I will be talking about the Mercury framework. And Mercury framework is a tool for converting Jupyter notebooks into web applications. And, you know, we all know the Jupyter notebook as a you know, set of cells and, uh, and the outputs and the cell can be a markdown text or, or, or a Python code. And it is quite popular tool. Uh, here you have a chart with number of IPNB files on uh, GitHub. And on Y axis, you have 10 million. So, you no, know, the number of files in is in millions. And there is a drop at the end of 2020 year because GitHub changed the, the way they index the repositories and GitHub stopped to index inactive repositories. But, you know, st still you have millions of notebooks uh, on the GitHub. So very popular tool. And the, the, the Jupyter notebook is very popular in, uh, for scientific computations, for data science tasks, for uh, machine learning, and for quick, quick prototyping. And, you know, you, you, can, uh, you can do in Jupyter notebook uh, every step, for example, from machine learning pipeline, because you can uh, uh, do some initial data exploration in notebook, you can do some visualization in notebook you can clean and, and prepare your data then you can for example train machine learning model in jupyter so uh so you know there are many use cases for for jupyter and uh but there there are also many surprising use cases for for jupyter so for example uh, you can create a full Python package in, in Jupyter Notebooks. There is a NBDAV uh, package for, for this, and the, the, it will help you to create documentation in Jupyter, to publish uh, your package from Jupyter. And, uh, and you know, it, it all can be done in, in, in Jupyter. You can create book, books with, with, with Jupyter. There is Jupyter book project for this. And for example, you can write blocks with Jupyter. There is a Nicola package for this. And you know, you can ask yourself what, what is the most important part of the notebook? And you know, for developers, it is code. And for non-technical users, it is the output. And you know, I, I have a feeling that. Uh, Jupyter notebook was was not created for sharing the results, okay? Because it is hard to share results with non-technical users uh, from Jupyter notebook, because you cannot share, you know, the notebook file with non-technical users. And why? Because first of all, they need to understand uh, Python, so they need to know Py Py Python to uh, to understand your your code. Then uh, they they need to have the local environment to run the 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 notebook. So you know they need to have Python. They need to have uh, packages. They need to uh, have uh, hardware, for example, GPUs, and you know they they need to have access to to the data. And very often it can be some uh, remote database. So, you know, it is hard to share notebook with non-technical users. And what are the current ways to share the notebook? For example, you can simply put the notebook uh, in the GitHub repository. And, you know, it, it is an easy solution, but you can, uh, the, the GitHub will only render a static HTML representation of the notebook. So there is no, you cannot interact with, with, with the notebook. You can use NB Viewer to, to, to share this, the, the static HTML of, of the notebook. Or you can use MyBinder, but you know, it, it is not a solution for uh, non-technical users. It is rather a solution for tech-savvy users because MyBinder will, will launch for you a full Jupyter lab with all your code. So your end user needs to understand the Python. Uh, you know, there are plenty of 
online services that uh, that can set uh, set up for you the, the the environment and they come with a lot of packages already installed but still you need to know your end users they they need to know the the python to to use them to use them with your notebook uh, there is amazing program called NB Convert for converting uh, notebooks into HTML or PDF files, but uh, you know it is hard to 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 update such a notebook because if you if you do some changes, then you need to export this to HTML or PDF and send again a static representation of the, the of the notebook. And if you would like to have. Uh, uh, okay, uh, if you would like to have a, 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 a interactive representation, then you need to write an application for this, but I will talk in this in the next slide. Uh, you can also create the PowerPoint power, power Pro, PowerPoint presentation, but and you know this 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 form of presentation of the results is very uh, very easy to understand for non-technical users, then they, they like presentation, but, uh, creating presentation from Jupyter Notebook outputs, you know, requires a lot of manual work from from the developer, from the, the data scientist, and uh, presentations are stuck. Okay, so you can create PowerPoint presentation from your notebook. And if you would like to have, you know, interactive results, then you need, you are forced to to rewrite all your all your uh, results from the notebook into some into some uh, UI or web framework, and you know there are plenty of uh, only Python web frameworks to 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 show your results as an interactive web app. So, for example, there there is IP widgets with Voila, Plotly, Dash, Streamlit, or or Panel, but all of them. It requires from uh, require from you to write some user uh, UI code. Okay, so they they cannot turn your notebook uh, into web app without you know changing uh, uh, changing the code, and that's why I created uh, a Mercury. And Mercury is a is a tool for converting. Uh, notebooks into web applications, and it can be dashboards, reports, web apps, slides, or even uh, REST API. And example, and uh, this this presentation is example of of uh, app made with Jupyter Notebook and Mercury. And thanks thanks to thanks to this, for for example, you can change the the slides during the presentation. So for example, you have a string hello Dublin here and uh, the, the greeting string is, is a variable in the Python and I can change change this during the du during the presentation. I just provide new value and, and click run and uh, the, the, the whole uh, presentation is recomputed re recomputed during the, the show. And you can even update chart so, for example, here is a chart with a lot of blue blue dots, and if I would like to have more dots with different color, for example, orange, then just click run, and the whole presentation will be recomputed. Re and after after computation, you you will have the the, the result. And you know you can cont continue. And how to use Mercury? It is pretty simple here you have uh, i will show you an example here you have very simple notebook with uh, two cells so in the first cell you have two variables here and greetings and in the second cell you have just you know print with greetings and the year and cześć is a hello in polish and you can very easily convert this into web application uh, so you you need to add yml header and here you have an example of YML header. It, it, it needs to be inserted uh, 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 at the top of the notebook. And here you have the title and description of your application. You have a parameter show code set to false, so we will hide the code. And we have uh, two widgets, two params, term parameters, year and greetings. And you see that the, the 
name of the widget is exactly the same as a, uh, as a variable uh, name in the code. And the year is a slider with label select year and the value 2022. And the greetings, greetings is a select, select greetings label and the value is Czech. And th there are also other choices. And you know, you, you need to install Mercury and it can be easy done with, with pip. And then you just run Mercury run uh, in the directory uh, with, with your notebook and you will have a local server running and your user can, uh, you can change something uh, in the widgets and click run and the whole notebook will be recomputed and only output will be showed to you. And uh, as I said, the, 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 the name of parameters must be the same as the variables that would like that you would like to control with with the widgets and uh, the yml uh, configuration is very simple in this slide you you have almost all parameters that can be included in a yml header so you have title and description of the application you have show code parameter to to decide to show or hide the code there is a share parameter to make the application uh, private. There is output uh, parameter, so your, your app can be app, slides, or REST API. There is a schedule parameter that accepts the cron tab string, so you can set automatic execution. There is a, a notify uh, parameter, so you can send uh, executed notebook to to. to to some users and there is a params so so uh, in the params you define the widgets and currently we have six widgets imp implemented text select uh, slider file numeric and uh, checkbox and you know my favorite is file because you can easily create the web application with file upload widget and your end user can upload file with 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 some data and your notebook will prep pr will process the the data and and show results for for end user and you know you can very simply do this it is only three lines of yml configuration so very simple and as i said there is a run command in mercury uh, that uh, converts all notebooks in the directory into up up apps and there is also a watch command that uh, that might be helpful during the development that is constantly checking for uh, updates in your uh, notebook and refreshing the mercury website with the latest version of your notebook so might be useful for uh, for development okay and some features of of mercury so there is a app gallery built in so you can serve as many notebooks as you want so you are not limited to only one notebook per server, but you can use multiple uh, multiple notebooks on one server. Uh, you can easily set a custom welcome message. So uh, in in the previous slide, you, you see there is a uh, there is a well there is a welcome message, uh, but you can change this with with some custom uh, markdown so just add welcome that md file in the same directory as your notebooks and you will have custom welcome message uh, you can easily download executed notebook as a, a standalone html file now just click the button and also we we support exporting to pdf so also, you know, just click a button and you will have a PDF with your notebook. Uh, there is an execution history feature. So uh, all, all your execution are, are stored in a database. So you can easily go back to your previous execution uh, and check the, check the results and, you know, just select the, the run number from execution history. Uh, we support outputting files, so your notebook can create uh, files and you can uh, make them available for download for end users. So you just uh, you just add the output a widget uh, with uh, dir uh, name and 
just you know write files to this output uh, directory and all files will be will be available to download so there is a special view to download files created by by notebook in the mercury so you know very easy to to share to sh share uh, files produced by by notebook and it, it is very easy to add authentication for your notebook so only authenticated uh users can can see the the notebook so just add share private to to the yml header and you can also share with only selected users just just add the user list with with their emails or usernames and it will be shared only with selected users and this is how it looks that you have a login view and and user needs to log in to see uh, private notebooks uh, scheduling is very easy because you have schedule parameter that accept the cron top string. That's all. And uh, you can send uh, executed notebook as a PDF or HTML to to selected uh, emails. So you know it it can be quite useful for uh, building uh, automated reporting system based on Jupyter notebook. And this is example of the uh, mail. Uh, with, that that was automatically sent from Mercury with uh, PDF uh, notebook. Uh, you can very easily embed the, the the notebook on any website. So you know, I even embed, embed the uh, the Mercury inside Mercury, and it was very easy. Just you know, add iframe with address of the <coughs> with address of the of the app. And a few words about the architecture. So when talking about the architecture, first uh, I will tell you how the architecture architecture looks when you add a notebook to the Mercury. So we are using NB convert to to change notebook to HTML, and we have some Python parser for YML uh, header, and we we parse this information and and store information about widgets in the in the database base and when the user execute the 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 notebook we have a so we, we have a front end written in in typescript with react and the notebook is uh, in the main part of the screen and on the left there is a sidebar and when the end user change something in the widgets and click run button the json request is created with widget values and notebook id and this request is sent to the backend and on the backend, we have a Django server, of course, in, in Python. And the Django server creates the, the task uh, for, for salary. And in the background, uh, the widget value, values are injected into notebook uh, code. And we use NB convert to execute the, the notebook. And when the HTML uh, representation is ready, we send it back to the, to the front end. Okay, and deployment deployment is very easy because it is based on Django, so you can uh, basically deploy it anywhere that uh, that uh, that anywhere where Python is uh, available. So my favorite uh, the, the platform for deployment is Heroku because you can deploy with one command command git push Heroku main and that's all. And from additional files files, it only requires a pros file from you. And it is one line of uh, of comment, and you know I have many apps running with Mercury on on Heroku. You can also deploy it on any cloud provider with Docker Compose, you know, just Docker Compose app, and and it will be running. We also provide the 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 Docker Compose with support for HTTPS with Let's Encrypt support. And as I said, it can be deployed anywhere where uh, where you can run Python. And you know, I even deploy this on Hugging Face Spaces, even uh, Hugging Face uh, Spaces uh, doesn't support uh, Mercury. It, it only supports you know Streamit and Gradio, but you know still it it supports Python, so I can deploy it there. Okay, 
and uh, the mercury uh, ha has a dual license so the core of the mercury is agp alpha 3 so it is the 95 percent of the features and there is also commercial uh, license with additional features for example authentication and we provide dedicated support and allow customization uh, for commercial license users and you know i i, I choose such such uh, licensing you know to to provide long sustainability for the framework and i will show you some more demo demos right now so uh for example here is very simple uh notebook with you know year greetings and, and some name and you, know, you can select some some uh, some year select the uh greetings and click run and the whole notebook will be executed with new parameters uh, so you you see that the values from widgets are injected into the notebook and the whole notebook is executed with with new parameters okay you can easily create the dartboards with uh, with mercury and here is a dashboard that is checking every minute uh bitcoin price and uh and display displaying it as a as a as a dashboard so uh, after one minute uh, the this value should be updated so we can go back here uh, in a minute uh here is another example of, of, of the notebook uh, a, a little bit more complex uh, this this notebook is doing the uh, get request to the Binance uh, exchange to check the uh, Bitcoin price, and uh, you know this this notebook is is running with show code set to true. So you 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 see the 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 code of the notebook, but I have the the, the same notebook with show code set to false. So you only see the you only see the the output. So you don't see the code cells. Okay, you can go back to the to the dashboard, and no, it's not updated. So we will need to wait. But let's let's go to the final slides. Uh, okay, and the, the future development for 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 Mercury, I would like to add preheated kernels and caching. So right now when when a user uh, uh, run the notebook with new parameters you know uh, it it uh, it takes about one second to start a new python kernel so i would like to add preheated kernel so it the the, the running notebook will be faster and i would like to add caching because you know many times you you for example you can run a notebook with large neural network or or you will run the notebook with large data set and then you know you will need to end uh, you will need to wait every time you execute the the, the notebook but I, I think the caching can be very easily added in the current architecture i would like to add the support for the plain python files so not only notebooks can be converted to web apps but also python files i would like to add support for other languages for example julia should be pretty simple to to add i would like to i would like to add better lay, layout for outputs because you know right, right now you have cell below the cell and you know it will be nice to have some columns for example to put uh, charts on on different columns and i would like to provide a cloud offering with one click deployments because not all users would like to set up their own server okay and that, that's all thank you that's that's uh, some li link, uh, link for Mercury, GitHub, uh, link for uh, for this presentation, and the whole presentation is running on Heroku at uh, europython.herokuapp.com. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, we've about two minutes for questions. If anyone wants to come up. Oh, thank you very much for that presentation. It's wonderful. Just a really quick daft question. I have um, 
notebooks on Google Colab, can I use this to export it to PDF and HTML? Yes. I, I think yes, but you know, you cannot do this uh, directly from Colab, but you you will need to download Colab files, Colab notebooks to, to have them locally, and then you can use Mercury you know, to serve them. Thank you. Um, how would you handle um, the fact that different notebooks have different um, requirements? So in terms of Python libraries, when you're, you're, when you're hosting all of them on the same server? Great question, great question. So right now, uh, right now uh, there is only, let's say one kernel handled by Bar Mercury, but maybe in the future, uh, I will add support, you know, for running multiple kernels, but right now you, you have only one kernel per, 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 per server. So uh, all notebooks that are uh, served on the single server, they, they all need to have, you know, the same requirements. All right, one last quick question. Hi, great talk, looks cool. Um, so you mentioned that you could go back in time and look at previous run numbers. If yeah. you had like large notebooks, uh, does that become a storage issue or is that something that you need to keep an eye on? No, I, I don't think so. So what do you mean by large notebook? Yeah, no, I just was wondering, are you storing, so every time you run, are you storing the, the, the output of, of those, those notebooks physically and, you know, can they start to build up over time if you're running, like, a new notebook every, every minute? Yeah, so I, I store a, every executed notebook on the, some hard drive, mm -hmm. on, on some storage, and, you know, you can easily go back to it. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that's always, I'm sure I understand. Thank you, looks good. All right, thank you so much for your talk. Thank you.